Hey everyone, this is Myra. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a layer document that you can print out and use it um, in your training. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mock document and we'll take it from there, we'll print it out and I'll show you um, how it works and then some ideas on how you can implement it. So let's start with creating the document. So I am on uh, layer.com and this is uh, the site that I use to create my augmented reality documents. So I'm going to start by creating a new campaign and I'm going to give it a title and we're going to call this visual resume because we're going to be using my resume that I created. It's just a visual document and I'm going to call it a poster and I'm going to create a campaign. And it doesn't matter what you categorize it as, um, it just needs to be categorized as anything. So here you start uh, to add pages, and you can add PNGs, PDFs, zip files. You can import several pages. I'm going to import a PNG. Here we go. And I'm just going to use the one page. You can add multiple pages. I'm just going to add page. And it's going to upload my page and then what I'll be able to do is I'll start be able to start editing it. So I will click start editing. And here's my document. So you may be wondering what can I do with this. But here you can see you have different um, media that you can add to your document. And this is as simple as just clicking and dragging it to wherever you want. So I'll start by adding my website. So I'm going to click on website here. And it's going to add a button to my document. I'm going to add my website address here and I want it to be a text button I don't want to use a custom image I'm gonna call it, leave it as website I'm gonna add an animation so I want it to pop and you'll see how this works once we use the app and we click save and then I'm just gonna position that where I want it to appear so I'm gonna position it right over my URL and as you can see I have some additional social media icons here so let's add a Twitter feed so if we go to social I can add a Twitter feed to my document and I'm just going to enter my handle. Okay, so I'll save it again. So now my Twitter handle will actually appear. I'm actually going to move it up a tad just because I want it to display on the document as a whole. So that's all set. So what's the next thing I can do? So let's see, I want to add, um, I can add my Instagram. Um, but I really want to add my LinkedIn. So you can see there's no LinkedIn icon here, but I can still add it just by clicking back on basic and adding another website because LinkedIn is basically a website, right? So I'll add it under my image here and I'm going to add in my LinkedIn address and I want that to pop also and I'll leave the color and I'll just save. So now we're placing, you can continue to place elements. I'm going to add one more thing here. Um, so I'm actually going to add a video. So I clicked on media. So I'm going to click uh, the video. I'm going to drag it over by my experience. And I have my video URL all set. I'm just going to. So you can either upload um, a video or you can just paste the URL. Um, and then it wants you you know you can add a cover page since I'm adding a video from uh, from a link I can add a uh, an image to it so let me see if I have an image that I can add to that so I use this here drag a picture of myself there and I want it to play on page full screen um, and that's all you really have so just click save and then I can uh, make this a little bit bigger so maybe I'll put it in the middle because I want it to play very big. Okay. And that's it. So now my page is ready to test. So if we go to test up here, what it's going to do is going to give you a blank version of your um, document. And you would use your layer app on your phone or on your tablet to actually view what it looks like um, once you publish it. So this is pre-published so you can you still have time to play around with it and you still have time to tweak it so it's not committed yet and you know what even after you commit it you still have the opportunity to go in and change or add elements to this, remove elements and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, I'm going to publish this because I actually want you to see this 
in action. So give me two seconds and I'll be back. All right, so here's my document. And on my phone, I'm going to click the layer app icon. And it creates a marquee. And what I want to do is I want to focus um, my screen within the box of the layer app. And then I'm just going to tap on my screen on my phone. And those elements that I added to the document are going to automatically show up on my phone. Okay, there you go. So we have my LinkedIn website. We have the video that auto plays. We have my regular website. And we have my Twitter feed. And so the cool thing about this is that this is a great way of adding additional files um, to a document, um, to a document making it interactive. These documents can actually be, once you publish it, you can print it out, and they're regular job aids that you can hand out digitally or, um, you know, in paper printouts, and uh, just put them to work. Okay, so let's look at an example of what this looks like on a printed document. So again, the first example is on my screen. This, so this is a regular piece of paper that I printed on my inkjet printer, and I have used layer to apply layer elements to it. So I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to click the layer app. And as I did with my visual resume, I'm just going to put the images in the, of the document in the screen and I'm going to tap. And you'll see it come to life. There you go. So this document has links and images also. So this is uh, good for interactive job aids, as I mentioned, and it has a ton of purposes. So I hope you found this really useful. If you have questions, please be sure to post them on my blog, or you can reach me on Twitter at MyRamade, or on LinkedIn. Talk to you later.